And a suspected robber makes a cell phone call just before he's gunned down by police. Good evening. Albuquerque police tonight confirmed the dead man did not have a gun. The deadly sequence of events started about noon in the Walgreens at Coors and Sequoia. Police say a man handed the pharmacist a threatening note demanding specific drugs. The suspect grabbed the drugs and took off on foot as employees called police. An officer cornered him in a nearby daycare parking lot where APD says the man yelled at the officer to shoot. Investigators say when the suspect reached for something in his belt, the officer did shoot and killed him. That officer is now on standard paid leave while the shooting is investigated. Police think the suspect may have been behind a string of other similar drugstore robberies. Family members tell us tonight the dead man is 30-year-old Dominic Robert Smith. And they say he made a cell phone call seconds before he died. News 13's Jim Winchester talked with the family tonight. Jim? Yeah, definitely, Diane. In fact, there's grief, there's anger, there's disbelief from that family. And they say that they have the final seconds of Dominic Roberts Smith's life on voicemail. He did Margaret Ann Sice, mother of dead robbery suspect Dominic Robert Smith, says it was the call for help of an unarmed man. The voicemail message left on his aunt's cell phone. It sounds as though he's running, and at that point you hear the two, two gunshots. And then a few seconds later, you hear a thump. The family says there's no shouting, no voices, no pleas. It's a voicemail the family did not release to us today. They say they will wait until after their lawyer reviews it. And I'm just in disbelief, in disbelief of why he was shot. Why couldn't they just taste him? Sice acknowledges her son had a drug problem and doesn't contest that he probably robbed the Walgreens at Coors and Sequoia. Apparently he held him up and asked for it. Uh, I believe he took it. Sice says her son was addicted to pain pills and guesses the pills that he took were probably OxyContin. She says the entire family tried to get him into an inpatient drug abuse program in the past. What she can't understand is why a drugstore robbery and pursuit led to his death. Shooting him, he didn't have a weapon. He had nothing to protect himself. So why did they shoot him? Why did they shoot him more than once? Police will not confirm the suspect's identity, but say that the officer in pursuit cornered him and fired only after the suspect reached for something around his belt. Sice believes she knows why her son made that phone call right before his death. I think he was trying to tell us, you know, I, you know I'm not doing anything wrong. All, all I did was doing is I was running away. You know, they, they, and that doesn't, you know, give them the right to shoot him. The Albuquerque police say that they have not mentioned anything at all about finding a cell phone here at the scene. Diane, back to you. All right, Jim. Now, Smith's family members say that he does not own a gun, and they want to hear from police directly why their son died. A lot of people were in that area and saw the shooting. He was walking, and as he was walking, he was stuffing something in his mouth. And the cop came out, pulled a gun out, and said, stop, put your hands up in the air. He didn't stop, he kept walking. All of a sudden, the cop pulls out this, like, shotgun-looking thing, and he starts running towards that guy. So that guy starts running. The cop shoots two shots, and that guy falls to the ground. Parents picking up their children at the daycare said they were notified of the shooting before they got there, but they were still startled when they arrived. I got the call um, at work, so I didn't know it was that serious. I thought it was at Walgreens, so yeah, so I was kind of freaked out when I got here and saw the cops at the daycare. You might remember in late 2007, another Albuquerque police officer was shot outside that same Walgreens. Officer Marcus Moya was wounded by a burglar named Eugene Patterson. Moya survived. He's still with APD. Patterson is serving 22 years in prison.